Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black with me, Berserk Edge 111. And today we're finally going to get out of the Battle Company and do the rest of Calcia City. And if you're doing all these black flashes, it's something to do with my um, camera because I'm now I'm actually editing my videos and it just does that when I'm speeding through battles, but it's. It's, it really shouldn't be a problem because these are all really unimportant battles, you know, just regular old trainer battles. You know, it's nothing really to worry about too much. It just does it. If, you, if it really annoys you, just skip it, the battle or whatever. It doesn't do it when I'm um like moving through places and stuff. It, it just doesn't do it. But um, I um I just have Dennis here killing these basculins, which are like these water types, which aren't really too great. I hear my dog barking, that's crazy. But um they're very easy to take care of. They have just two forms and I don't know really the difference between them, but it's kind of weird. But um shouldn't be too much of a problem. And um I have I have to heal up my Pokemon real quick because uh my zebra took a little bit of a beating in that battle because they use like aqua jet which is basically a water type quick attack and it ain't too threatening i guess but um uh but the battles here aren't too tough you know you shouldn't have too many problems you know if you need to go heal go heal but you know, the majority of the time you just potions would just work fine and um i had to edit out this video because this battle because of the flickering got kind of crazy in that one it's just something that Windows Media ma um, Movie Maker does for some reason when you're speeding it up. I don't know because I'm recording my commentary after I do the video because it's a lot easier on me. And you know, it, it, it's, I just feel kind of awkward doing it while I'm recording a video. I mean, it just feels better to just do it afterward. You know. But next, we just have to go up to the 55th floor, and there's just more trainers up here. I didn't go through all of them. I just got through just the ones I just really needed to get through and stuff. So this guy down here is uh, one of these creepy researchers. Um, his name is gonna be kind of funny. He's Steve, which if you know from Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, that's what uh, Melvin's uh, underlings' names are. Steve. It's just kind of funny. If you ever watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, you know what I'm talking about, but. Uh, it's kind of funny, but uh, he just sends out a Sawaddle, sawa which is, you know, you've dealt with probably so many Sawaddles up to now, and you just knock him out pretty much anything, you know, but, uh, I had to switch my leader around real quick, because the, um, guy up there is the next one we have to battle, and, um, he's like, uh, I was about to take a break, but then I met you, he's kind of weird, I had to move my camera on a little bit. I do it at times. But um he sends out Panser, which is you know I've seen Panseers up to now and I just sent out my um temple and that then two bubble beans took care of him. I mean he, he barely inflicted any damage. And it, it's a very easy battle. And well he has all three elemental monkeys. So if you have this types that can counter all three of them you should be absolutely fine because they're not much of a threat really. I'm gonna send in um old P Dove here and he just uses uh air cutter like like twice and kills him so it's pretty easy. I just don't know how that black flicker happens. I just think it's when I speed it up the parts I speed it cause I split it because like basically before the battle I split it then an after battle I split it so I can create one clip so I can fast forward it so I don't have to fast forward the entire thing. That's what I do. If y'all can give me some tips on that, because I'm just using Windows New Movie Maker. I don't know. I'm, I'm just such a noob at editing videos. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Maybe I can just get it with experience. But as you see right now, it's not flickering at all. But, um, and this guy apparently is the boss. And he's like, oh, you want to challenge me? I'm the strongest. And he's apparently a janitor. Wow, uh, it's kind of crazy. And he has a trash bag, which is totally ironic. <laughs> I mean, guy using a trash bag, it's 
kind of weird. I, I don't know. I can get it behind it, but he uses like sludge on Temple and it poisons him and it takes like half his health away. It sucks. And I'm gonna use a bow beam. Then uses like toxic spice, which if you switch in or something, they get poisoned. If you use it twice, they get badly poisoned, which is the same thing as toxic. It's pretty annoying. But um, he's gonna send a new Pokemon called Menacino, which is um a normal type. It's pretty easy to beat. I mean, it's just your, a, a, a normal type. I mean, it's not really too special, but it's pretty vanilla, I guess. I mean, just using Rock Smash on it will be enough to kill it, really. A couple of Rock Smash, it'll go down. It just like, moves like Swift, which don't really do much. To be honest with you, almost kills her deer, for God's sake. I mean, it, it won't be too hard. You level up to level 22, which is pretty good. And you'll get like 4,000 yen or Poké Dollars or whatever, whatever you call it. And he gives an EXP share, which you can give to one of your Pokémon other than your leader, and they'll get experience from the battle without them battling, which is pretty awesome for weak, like weaker Pokémon and stuff. So you definitely want to hang on to that. And I I don't know really how it works with the new EXP system. I have to figure it out. But um, it's kind of weird, and I'm just gonna heal up my Pokémon real quick here. They got pretty beat up last time, and I don't want them dying while I'm walking, because like six steps, hurry will be dead. So, you know, we don't want that to happen. That kind of sucks, because we're, we're not going to battle anymore, anybody here anymore. So, I don't know what I did right there. I don't, it's kind of weird. I just pressed the X button to the menu for some stupid reason. I uh, was going to do something, I forgot to do it, but I don't know. And just go back down to the first floor whenever you're done battling everybody. I think there's maybe a, one or two more trainers up here, but I'm not really worried about it. You know, I can just go back later and beat them off screen. You know, it's not really much of you to be worried about, but um, we just get out of here real quick. And we'll see this alleyway here, which. I think I don't know why I went in here for some stupid reason. I think I might have saw a ghost or something. I don't know. You know, it was just gamer error, gamer error. And going here. Um, and apparently, we go into the gym, and then old Sharon pops out, and he's like, Hey, Philip, you just challenged a gym leader, and he's a seasoned gym. It made me work for that gym badge. For me, both women aren't much of a challenge. And he just says stuff. That I'm be the strongest trainer ever and stuff, things we've heard before. And you try to go in, and then Bird pops out and says like, "Aha! You're the one who fought Team Plasma and Pinball Forest. I remember your name is Philip." Okay, he's all dramatically. And he's informed that T Plasma's here, and he's gonna go uh, at the at a peer, at one of the peers. So all we have to do now is just follow him wherever he went. Um. But first, I think I want to uh, show you guys something real quick. Uh, I think it's like in the middle street, I think. Yeah, it's in the middle street. Um, basically, all you have to do, you see where the alleyway is here? Just keep going. past that, and You have to go past that square where you, fought, where you had to bring the dancers together. And you'll come to this pretty interesting area that I didn't show off last time. Um, I think the, the left building we'll go into now has the um, the name raider in it, so he can change your Pokemon's nickname. He's that bald guy down there, and he'll just change your Pokemon's nicknames for you if you want. I'll probably do that off screen. And the other two buildings I don't think have much in them. You can go explore them if you want to, but they're pretty easy. And that tunnel up there goes to Route 4, which I'll go catch them. Um, like you can catch Sandial and Darumaka and stuff like that. It would be pretty helpful for the next gym, which I'll do off screen. So, basically, all we have to do now is um, go to the pier and see what Bird wants. It's a pretty eventful episode, I think. You know, just a battle company and stuff, and stop trying to stop Team Plasma. Team Plasma kind of creeps me out a little bit. I don't know, their outfits are just so creepy. I mean, 
they, 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 they just don't want to get ghosts together. You know, that, it's just the hat I don't think works when that outfit. It's just kind of stupid looking. Uh, whenever I look at him, uh, it looks like some ripped off superhero costume. It's just terrible. I mean, they could have designed that a little bit better, I think. Maybe a helmet or something might work, but the hat is just kind of stupid looking. But anyway, and we go down here and this, the, and apparently somebody stole Bianca's Pokemon, and it's of course Team Plasma, and this girl Iris is here, and she's here, and this guy from Team Plasma shows up, and he's like, "I spy gym leader. Last time I was so well, I thought I'd nab another Pokemon. Rethinking, I need to get out of here." Which he just shows up randomly for some stupid reason. And he tells Iris to guard Bianca. Early. You'll know who Iris is if you watch the anime, which I haven't yet, but eh, I might watch one of these days, I don't know. But basically, all you have to do is go to where the street where the gym is, the last street. You see Berg here, and he's like, follow me. Heading to the gym. Basically, you go to this building up here. You see three plasma guys and Berg, and they're like, "He's like, this is definitely the place." And no one's here, not a soul. I'm the six eighter here, and blah blah blah. And he said they're gonna handle Berg while I battle around the drops. And I just sped through this. It's that's just he has two sand dials, which. You can take care of very easily. You can have Temple here, and you can one shot both of them with Bubble Beam. Like, pretty easy battle. I think they're part dark too, so you can use like um your you have Pig Knight and his Arm Thrust or whatever or Rock Smash. You can take that probably just as easily. And Temple will try to learn uh, Aqua Ring, which I don't really care for it. Like it's like. I guess like a leftovers type move that restores HP every turn, which I don't really care for. I mean, I suppose just for that, you know. And they're like, we got lost in the way here. Which, I don't know how you can get lost, but yeah, they're kind of dumb. But and she's like, Philip, you come with us too, and we have to just go inside the building and we'll see what happens. Switch my leader around because I, I thought I was gonna have to battle somebody. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of weird. And then we're in here and we have Gestus and these guys in weird hats. And it says, My word, isn't it? Is it Berg? And they get into an intellectual intellectual discussion. And it's it's pretty cool to hear and they're like, and I don't see why they would put a hideout in front of the gym because it's going to be found out. I mean, it's kind of a stupid reason to do it. And they're talking about the black dragon type Pokemon, which you can probably guess who that is. Uh, I won't. Well, uh, it's Zekrom. They're talking about Zekrom pretty much. And they're saying it created the Unova region and stuff like that. And apparently, needs a hero to bring it back. Something wants to win people's hearts and minds and creates a world that uh, I mean Team Plasma desire, so he almost gave it away there. That's it's his plan. But um for example, like we have different people here and they all care about Pokemon. Just blah 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 blah. It's dumb stuff. But um you know, I just noticed like the Pokemon stories have gotten more like it's not really darker, but just more make you think more. It's like the more like more getting more like the Final Fantasy games nowadays. You know, I really like that. You know, I like the way they're going with it. It's a lot better. I mean, the graphics get really awesome later in some parts. You guys are really, really impressed by that. And you know, like a return her Pokemon to her, and she gives the moon back to. Bianca, I don't know how she got that stolen from her. I mean, the guy just 
mugger or something. I don't know. Like, give me the Pokeball, I'll kill you, or something like that. Uh, that's the part I don't get. And she's like, yeah. I was like, why are you thanking her? Why are you thanking him? No, I don't understand it either. You can guess this and then leave. And the guy's like, why are you letting him get away? And but he's like, what would we do if they had other stolen Pokemon? And then he's asking, what's everybody going to do now? And he said, it would be sensational to go on Celestia City, but don't worry, I'll keep on being your bodyguard, says Iris. Um, that's great. Iris is a great Pokemon trainer. She she'll be in the city yet. And she gives us the Yachi Berry, which I think weakens the power of a super effective ice move. Or something like that. Uh, that might be useful. I put my screen also went up, but um Burke says he'll be waiting for us at the gym, so that's all pretty much all the time I have for today. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.